Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to do a little demonstration with a patient today who has Seaver's disease. Okay, now we hear the term Seaver's disease and we kind of get a little panicky, but this is a very common issue. We see this mostly in uh, younger folks. Uh, this young man is 10 years old, but usually between 10 and 14 years old, especially in active individuals. Um, and basically what happens, uh, he's been having pain for about one year now, very active, playing baseball, soccer, and basketball. So pretty much sports all year round. Um, started to develop this heel pain on both sides. Mostly the pain is kind of like in the back and underneath over here. Not much pain underneath the arch uh, and no pain in the Achilles back here. So the first thing we think of is, you know, does he have plantar fasciitis or Achilles tendonitis? Anything coming from here? And the answer is no in his situation. Basically, this arch, this fascia is pulling in this direction. The Achilles is pulling in this direction. So they're basically both pulling away from each other. Okay. Now, when you're young and you have a growth plate here that is still not closed, basically that growth plate is right around here. The cells in that growth plate are a little bit softer, so there could be a little bit of motion there and some inflammation from these two pulling away from each other. So the best test to identify if somebody has Seavers um, or an actual heel bone issue like a stress fracture or something like that is the calcaneal squeeze test. You essentially take your hands like this put it around the heel and give a side to side squeeze. And that hurts a little bit. I'm kind of going easy, but it's definitely better than it was last week. Um, if this was a plantar fasciitis problem, we'd have a lot of pain down here. If it was an Achilles problem, it would be very tender back here. But we eliminate those two spots by squeezing that growth plate a little bit on both sides. And if it is painful, then that is positive for Seavers, especially in somebody this age. Now, Another issue we see here and a contributor to Seavers is that he's very tight. So if you could sit up nice and straight for me, okay, and I take his leg and fully extend it. I push the foot back. We're, you know, just above neutral here with a very tight calf muscle, okay? So that Achilles is pulling hard this way. The fascia is pulling in this direction, giving more strain here. So if we can improve his mobility here, we're going to take a little load off the back of that heel indirectly. The other thing that we see is that he has this pretty high arch and he has a little bit of bowing in at the knee. So the foot wants to collapse inward like this when he's playing sports and when he's doing a lot of running. Most of this discomfort is after he's been playing. So one of the things we've done is we've put him into an orthotic, something with a decent size um, arch to it, as you can see right here. So when he puts that on, he has some really nice support uh, in his shoe. And within one week from doing calf stretches, and wearing the orthotic, we've had some significant improvement in regards to the pain that he has when he's running. So sometimes these become very painful. Usually you'll outgrow this, but the treatment really is relative rest. So slowing down on those high impact activities. We don't see this uh, problem in people who are inactive. It's usually people who are playing sports, uh, young people that are pushing really hard and just really stressing these tissues and agitating that growth plate over here. Um, so what we've done is we've placed him on a stretching program. So he uses a slant board. Um, it's really the number one way to stretch the calf out. And then we are having him do some hamstring stretches um, with a sheet around the foot here and he's lifting it up like that. Um, we're going to avoid a lot of high impact activities without a shoe on. So having something that has a little bit of shock absorption can help. But as this mobility improves here and the arch is supported a little bit, this should start to settle down with occasional rest, should continue to do well. But this is not going to be a lifelong problem. They usually get better with a little bit of rest and a little bit of time. So this is a demonstration of somebody who has Seavers disease. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks.